police out in full force tonight looking for that man. Security camera photos show him using a closed fist and swinging at a 62-year-old woman. Thanks for joining us. I'm Chris Tanaka. Now, this attack happened midday with lots of people nearby. WBZ's Ken McLeod is live in Boston with riders on guard, Ken. Chris, Park Street, of course, is where the red and green lines intersect, and about 16,000 riders come through here every weekday. But it drew more than its share of T police today, with their eyes peeled for the guy who punched that 62 year old woman. Edie Benedict waited for her train at the Park Street station tonight, admitting to some concern about what happened just down this nearby passageway. I'm not shocked. To be honest, which is a little sad, but I know those kinds of things happen around here. She's talking about yesterday afternoon when a T surveillance camera captured this guy punching a 62 year old woman in the face, apparently because she said, Excuse me, in an effort to make her way around him. How can anyone do that? And she said, excuse me, she wasn't being rude. This evening, three pairs of T-Police trekked the underground concourse between Park Street and Downtown Crossing, acknowledging they had hopes of spotting the suspect. My fear kind of increases when I see stuff like that on the news, especially coming down here like once in a blue moon. You never know who's down here, what's going to happen. This is a stretch where the downtrodden often seek refuge from the winter cold, especially at night. But Tuesday's incident happened at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Normally, I kind of feel very safe in the station, so it's actually quite surprising that something happened like that in such a public, central place. Indeed, several riders told us they feel safe below ground, despite the risks. I know the subway backwards and forwards, so I'm really not afraid to walk it. I haven't really had any issues. I'm none of my friends have. You do hear about some bad people sometimes, but you're in a city. It's bound to happen, right? For now, it's T police lurking around many corners, looking for the guy in the olive rain slicker and gray hoodie, while riders like Edie Benedict tweak their awareness up a notch. I'm not like overly scared, but I do get nervous. And like I said, I carry pepper spray with me and all of my female friends do as well. Now, T police suspect this guy frequents the downtown crossing area. In fact, a few people we bumped into tonight indicated he was a familiar face. Of course, if you know who he is, you should call T police. Live at the Park Street Station tonight, Ken McLeod, WBZ News.